can you help us clarify a little bit this difficult question of the link between acute pancreatitis and alcohol? That's a great question. So I get this question a lot myself about if I have an attack of acute pancreatitis, does it mean I'm an alcoholic? And frequently my patients, when they come in after they've had an attack and they tell me their experience in the emergency room, for example, they often say to me, well, I was accused of being an alcoholic. We're not quite sure completely the relationship between alcohol and pancreatitis, but we do know that in general, patients who get acute pancreatitis from alcohol tend to be very heavy drinkers. And that usually is several drinks a day over a period of many years. So there are exceptions, but generally it's very heavy alcohol use over the course of several years. Having a beer every week or a glass of wine with dinner is generally not enough to trigger an attack of acute pancreatitis. And as we've learned more and more about the genetics of pancreatitis, we've learned that there's probably other contributors to uh, the uh, reasons why people get acute pancreatitis not having to do with alcohol. When patients have an attack of acute pancreatitis, they're often told, you can never have a glass of alcohol or drink again. And I think that's wrong. And I think we have to look very carefully at the reasons behind why people have had acute pancreatitis. If we really think it's from alcohol, then obviously, yes, we have to avoid it. But in general, if we don't think that the acute pancreatitis was from alcohol, then it's certainly okay to, in moderation, have alcohol in the future.